Hey, Tim Baker here, Director of Golf at Cheval. Just wanted to show you guys uh, how to re-grip a putter today. Uh, so if you're looking to try to do that, you can do that from home. Uh, of course, you'll just need to get the grip, uh, which we have here, a piece of double-sided tape, which we have here, a hook blade, uh, and then some grip solvent, which we have here. First thing that we'll do, uh, put the club inside the vise here. Make sure you have something rubber around the outside so we don't smash and demolish the shaft as we're doing this. Uh, take your hook blade, insert it underneath the front part of the grip. Uh, we have a steel shaft here, so it's much easier to do. If you're using graphite, you've got to be careful that we don't carve down and push into the graphite so it pulls the fibers out. Uh, but with a steel shaft, we don't have to worry about that. Make sure you're always cutting away and your body is out of the way so we do not stab ourselves in case it slips out. Insert that, slide it all the way back as you're pushing down. And then your grip will be cut from there. Go ahead and peel the ends from the sides away. Pull the grip all the way off. If there's any tape or residue left, you will want to go ahead and clean that. This has more of a clear coat on it, so we won't have to do that. So we don't really need to clean off the area much there. Uh, what we'll go ahead and do is take our double-sided tape. They do sell rolls of this, uh, two inch and one inch thick. Uh, but we just bought the pre-cut and pre fab ones already. So go ahead and take those off. As we're going through, you'll start leaving yourself about an inch up above, up at the top of the putter. Take your hand, seal down the top, and then we'll grab it and wrap. So there's no lines within the tape. So we don't want to have any of that. We want to have a perfectly flat surface. Take the other side, peel and pull all the way around, wrap, get it going, and then up at the top, we can get it together, twist it. The little bit of uh, half inch that's left over, you'll insert and put into the top of the shaft. That way, uh, no grip solvent or sand or anything get to the bottom so you don't hear it rattling around in your shaft. Then go ahead and take your grip solvent, give it a couple of sprays down into the grip there. Make sure you hit up the tape on there a little bit so we can slide it on. Give it a couple of shakes. Go ahead and pour the rest on the grip. It's on there. I would use one hand to hold pretty steady. Use the other hand to push on the grip. Perfect. So step one, grip is on. Obviously we have a putter here that we're doing. So the next thing that you would need to do after you take it out of the shaft or the vise, I should say. The biggest thing is you got a flat part on the top of the putter. The biggest thing that you got to do is make sure that this flat top of the grip squares up to the face of the putter. If we put it on sideways, your putter is going to be looking sideways and crooked the whole time. So we got to make sure that we take this portion here, flat part of the putter, square it up to the face. You can do that by taking the bottom part of the putter, put it down against a flat surface up against the wall or whatnot. Make sure this is straight. Once you get it going, let it set for about 10 minutes, let it dry, everything's squared up, and you're going to be good to go with a new putter. I hope that will help you. If you have any questions, let us know in the golf shop. Thanks.